Guys, this video contains Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character spoilers, so if you do not want to be spoiled on which characters are going to be in the game, please click off this video now. You have been warned. Oh, it's muted. Oh. What was that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's on. It's on. Can you guys hear it? Okay, yeah. You guys should be able to hear it. I think they're going to announce Shadow, dude. I think... Or if they don't announce him today, dude, he's probably going to be in the game. Guess who was right? Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Original Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something that, um... has been trending across the internet recently. Now, Super Smash Brothers, one of the most popular fighting games on the planet. You know, everybody loves Super Smash Bros, and we know that a new Super Smash Brothers is coming out in about two months, actually. So, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate releases on December 7th, and normally around this time of games releases, we usually get some sort of leaks about characters that are going to be in the game or other features, and we actually got a leak of every single character that's going to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now this isn't just one of those random leaks you find on the internet that says like, oh, we're getting, we're getting Minecraft Steve in there, we're getting Fortnite in there, we're getting, uh, we're, we're getting, we're getting, no, it's not one of those. This is a legitimate leak, and I do believe that this is 100% true. Now, without further ado, let's just jump right into the leak. So the person who leaked this image is someone who works for one of those companies that distributes the promo art to other companies such as like GameStop and stuff. You know, those cool posters you see at GameStop, they receive it from a company and this is one of those companies that this guy works at. And he got some of the promo art for Super Smash, the Super Smash, for Super Smash Brothers to distribute to the companies. Now he posted this picture on his Snapchat story of some Super Smash Brothers promo art and you can see here we have three pan shots of Final Destination. Uh, you see on the very right it's really dark there and we got a very sunny one in the middle and same on the left side and you can see a little circular um, I guess thing that hangs from the ceiling like a, a circular poster that hangs from the ceiling but what we also see here is the entire collage that says everyone is here. We see that entire collage there full with every single character in the game. Now, why would they distribute a promo art with not with with missing characters on it? Like that's like false advertising. This promo art has all the seven missing characters that we have not seen before. Now we are gonna look into those seven characters. I already know who they are. I'm actually really disappointed with them, but I'm still gonna show them off to you guys because I don't know who knows. Maybe some of you guys actually want some of these characters. So starting from the very left, we have this dark figure here on the left which appears to have some spikes now i'm pretty sure that's obvious who the heck this is just by looking at the image it's shadow the hedgehog i called it guys i said i i knew shadow was going to be in the game dude as soon as i saw the remove knuckles as assist trophy i knew shadow was going to be in the game dude and as soon as i saw echo fighters become a thing i i immediately thought to myself dude shadow has to be in this game I'm glad he's in the game. I think he fits well in Smash Brothers. Um, I mean, he's like Sonic and all and everything, so I'm, I'm really glad he's in here. All right, so after Shadow, we have um, a character that I'm not too really happy with, but I understand why. We got Banjo and Kazooie. This is a weird addition to the Smash Bros. series. I know everyone's been wanting in there, in there for a long time, and Nintendo finally added him in there, but I'm not too big of a fan of him, but he's there. Um, also to the right of Banjo Kazooie in between Little Mac and Lucario, we have Isaac from Golden Sun, which is another character I am really disappointed by because they could have gotten some other popular character like Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or just some other character to represent it. Mm, just Nintendo instead of Isaac. Like, ah, eh, that's disappointing. Alright, anyways, apart from Isaac, we see Ken in between Yoshi and Samus there in the middle. Ken from Street Fighter. I also knew along with Shadow that Ken was going to be in Smash Bros. And we got a leak a long time ago that Ken was going to be in the game. So that overall just supported my theory. Um, so yeah, Ken, I'm pretty sure we all saw it coming. I'm pretty sure we all saw it coming. Also, after Ken, in between the Inkling and I believe that is Roy, we have Mach Rider. Now, Mach Rider is from an old NES game called Mach Rider. And um, I'm confused as to why they added him in there. I don't like him as a character really. I don't know if he's an Echo Fighter, if he's a new character, 
but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know, I guess they just got, I guess they just wanted another character to represent the NES. Like, they had Rob and they had, um, Duck Hunt, and now they added Mock Rider. I don't know, I think it's a weird addition. They could have added the Excite Bike character. Um, I still think that would have been a weird addition, but... Uh, who the heck knows who that who who knows who Mock Rider who the heck knows who freaking Isaac from Golden Sun is or uh or mm, Nintendo. I am actually really frustrated and mad that they put him in here, but I mean I mean at least we're getting Smash Bros on Switch, am I right? <laughs> Smash Bros is it's it's still a port, no matter how many characters they add, it's still a port. Anyways, we got Gino from Super Mario RPG. Another Square Enix representative, and I am really disappointed by this because it's Geno, man. Like, who, why do why do people want Geno so much? Why? What is so special about Geno? He's just a little wooden dude. Add Pinocchio. It's literally the same exact thing as Pinocchio, bro. He is not... Uh, I don't like Geno, but we got Geno in Smash, guys. Well, are you guys happy now? We got Geno. Geno in Smash, guys. So, right after Geno, we are left with... Or, yeah, this one weird-looking thing. But if you look closer to it... It's actually the Chorus Kids from Rhythm Heaven. Now, I really do love Rhythm Heaven. I played the original Rhythm Heaven on the DSi, and I absolutely love the game. But this is such a weird addition because I can't really tell what's going on in the picture. I, I know in Rhythm Heaven, the game, there are three of them singing, and I can't really tell. I know for sure I see three of them, or four of them. I can't really tell what I see there, but I don't know how these guys are going to control. I imagine them playing like Ice Climbers, but with another character but gosh that would actually be insane and that does leave us to the end of the leak shadow bandra kazooie isaac um we got ken we got mock rider we got gino and we got the chorus kids so that's seven new characters total that um we just discovered and uh those are the entire set of Super Smash Bros. characters. How many characters does that leave us with? I think Isabelle was the 68th character, if I'm correct. Yes, Isabelle is 68. Well, actually, I don't know who's going to be an Echo Fighter of who. I don't know if Mock Rider is going to be like an Echo of uh, Captain Falcon. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Shadow's going to be an Echo Fighter, his own character. He might be an Echo Fighter, most likely an Echo Fighter. I mean, it'd be cool if he had his own moves, but he's most likely going to be an Echo Fighter. Same with Ken, Echo Fighter, Banjo Kazooie. Mock Rider. We know, uh, let's just say Mock Rider, yeah. Gino, Chorus Kids. That's four new characters. So that leaves us with a total of 71, I believe. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72 total characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now that is a lot of characters. That is a lot of characters, man. Like, oh my gosh. How many newcomers are there, dude? I mean, I, hold on. I gotta think. I gotta count how many newcomers we got. We got Ridley, King K. Rule. Um, Krom, Dark Samus, Shadow. Inkling, Ken, Mock Rider, Gino, Chorus Kids, Simon, Richter, uh, Isabel, um, did I say Isaac already? Isaac? I don't know. Maybe I said Isaac. I don't know, guys. But we have, like, 14... 14 newcomers? That's insane. That's pretty insane. Um, I still do see this game as a port. <laughs> but this is an argument for another video. Which I'll be getting to soon. Um, and reasons to support my claims. So don't start rushing to the comments yet. Save your paragraphs and essays for the next video anyways anyways let me know what you guys think about this uh final roster uh, i know this is a fairly short video um and i haven't really done anything really on my channel like this um but overall i am disappointed other than the fact uh shadow and ken i think they're decent characters to put in i i'm glad they're in um but other than that i'm fairly disappointed i did not want gino did not want uh, Isaac did not want Bandra Kazooie. I couldn't really care for the chorus kids, but they're there. Um, Mock Rider. So, ah, so stupid, Nintendo. Anyways, well, we're getting smashed, so uh, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still really excited for Smash Ultimate. 
and I'm still going to pick it up day one. It's going to be great. I'm really excited. Um, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this final roster. Let me know if there are any characters that you're glad got in or any characters that you're disappointed that got in or any characters that you're disappointed that didn't get in. Like I know me myself, I wanted Shovel Knight in, but he's already deconfirmed, you know, well, other than the fact that he's not on this paper, but he has an assist trophy. Shovel Knight's not in. I'm glad Waluigi did not make it in. I did not want Waluigi in the game, nor I did not want Waddle Dee. Waddle Dee was so, such a stupid ballot choice for people. Like, why would they want Waddle Dee? He's such a useless character. He's not even significant in any game, or Bandana Dee, sorry, Bandana Dee. He's not really significant in any game. He doesn't do anything except just waddle around, like poking people with the stick. Anyways, that is it. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Um, I'm the Original Gamer, and I will see you all next time.